Cigarettes, the finest quality money can buy. Presents Danny Thomas as Danny Williams. Gene Hagen as Margaret Williams with Sherry Jackson and Rusty Hamer as their children in Make Room for Daddy. Now, watch this one. The best shot I made on my vacation. <laughs> Boy, was I happy. Now, when you're relaxing, don't miss the fun of smoking. Mildness is a pleasure with Pell-Mell. Smoke longer and finer and milder Pell-Mell. Pell-Mells are longer. Their greater length of fine tobaccos travels the smoke further, filters the smoke, and makes it mild. But you get more than greater length. Pell-Mell tobaccos are finer, the finest quality money can buy. Remember, fine tobacco is its own best filter. You get a self-filtering action that makes your Pell-Mell milder. So mild, so cool, so delicious, it tastes freshly lit, puff after puff. Choose well, smoke Pell-Mell. Get Pell-Mell famous cigarettes in the distinguished red package today. Outstanding. And they are mild. The tables are empty, the dance floor's deserted. We play the same love song, it's the tenth time you've heard it. So oh, that's the beginning, just one of the clues. You've had your first lesson in learning the blues. The cigarettes you light, one after the other, won't help you forget her, and the way that you love her, oh, you're only burning a torch you can't lose, but you're on the right track for learning the blues. When you're at home alone, the blues will taunt you constantly. When you're out in the crowd, the blues will haunt your memory. Oh, the nights when you don't sleep, the whole night you're crying. And you can't forget her, soon you even stop trying. Agent, where'd you go after the show? Oh, I had a few loose ends to tie together, old boy. You scared me. I thought you walked out of me because I wasn't doing so good as him. No, you were ripping, old chap. A real smasher. Bolstered my morale quite a bit, you know. Needed bolstering. I've been feeling dreadfully low. Would you get me a spot of tea? <laughs> hey, fat Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> what's, what's this all about? Haven't you heard? What's the matter? We've lost Ninja! <laughs> uh, Noel, I don't uh, like to pry into your private life, but uh, tell me, what's the British kick all about? <laughs> Jesse, you booked the Palladium. Well, how did you figure that out? <laughs> the London Palladium? No, the Laramie, Wyoming Palladium. <laughs> what else but the London Palladium? What have we been breaking our backs for the last six months? 
Jesse, you mean they went for the whole deal? Everything. But you know, holding out for Margaret and the kids' expenses almost cost us the deal. Without Margaret and the kids, there'd be no deal. You don't think I'd go play my first engagement in London Palladium without my family, do you? Well, that's what you wanted. That's what you got. Gee, Jess, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I, I don't know what to say, but the first time in my life, I'm speechless. Don't say anything. Just send me my commission. <laughs> yeah, I know I put you through a lot of trouble getting this deal the way I wanted it, but... Jess, uh, part of your reward is going to come from seeing how happy Margaret and the kids are going to be when I tell them I'm taking them to England. And the rest of it is going to have to come from knowing that I'm... I'm sincerely grateful to you, really, for making a lifelong dream come true. Danny, boy, you know something? You're as corny off stage as you are on. <laughs> Good morning, please. Good morning, curly top. Want anything special this morning? Yep, I want a bullseye with four eggs. One egg is a bullseye. Four eggs is the whole bull. <laughs> <laughs> what is the big deal, hon? I'm a big man. Oh, yeah. Well, to be a big man, just eat some of your cereal there. First. Well, I am a big man. The Chippewas AC asked me to join their club. Oh, boy, I can hardly wait for initiation. <laughs> I bet you really can hardly wait. What is initiation like? I give them the password. What's that? Hip, 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 the mini a sinny a horny a zock the bumble I -O. Uh, <laughs> then I give them $3. Oh. <laughs> I guess they can't hardly wait either. <laughs> well, good morning, Russell. You're looking especially handsome this morning. Good morning, Mommy. And Louise, you never look more slim nor more beautiful. <laughs> oh, the butter is sure melting fast around this table this morning. <laughs> no, I shouldn't it be. I'm feeling rather proud of myself today. I want you to know that I have been elected regional president of the Parent Teachers Association. Guess what, yeah. Mommy? I'm being initiated in the Chippewas. Well, congratulations. Oh, Louise, you're going to have to help me, dear. We're having a, an announcement party in three weeks. I'm okay. having initiation in three weeks. It's a sit-down dinner for 20. Don't count on me, Mommy. After the initiation, I don't know if I'll be able to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Mother, mother, dear friend, all you lovely people, good morning. <laughs> and call me sweet peas, it ain't another honey dribble. Yes, you are. What? You know that hard-to-get boy, Jimmy Burroughs? Always thinking about boys. Mother. Rusty, <laughs> never mind. Go ahead. Well, you know who I mean, Mom. The boy I wouldn't go to the dance with if he got on his hands and knees and begged me. Oh, yeah. Well, this morning, he actually asked me. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that's wonderful. Tell me, what are you going to wear? Gee, I haven't got a thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's both go shopping Monday. Oh, gee, Mom, isn't this great? The biggest dance of the year, the junior prom, and just three weeks from tonight. And the most popular boy in the school asking me. <laughs> my, my. Three weeks from tonight, certainly going to be a busy mm. household here. There's Rusty with his hip, hip, pay three dollars, and Mama with her PTA presidency, and Terry with her Prince Charming. I'm going to get my horoscope and see what can happen to me. <laughs> Can you pretend to rules the waves? Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. Should you help pip, pip, poop, poop, and a merry fell metal to you all? Cheer. <laughs> But it's not only melting, now it's going to turn rancid. <laughs> Good morning, Hardy. Uh, family, I have an announcement to make to end all announcements. The most important announcement I have ever made in my entire life. Dad, I have an important announcement to make, too. Mm -hmm. Me, too. But why, darling? Just a moment. I get to make mine first. I'm the oldest. Okay. <laughs> now, look at me real good. Yeah. Well, take your eyes off me. Look at me. Ready? I have been booked into, brace yourselves, the London Palladium for two weeks. I am the headliner, and I'm taking my family with me. Oh, swell! Yeah, oh, How about that? Oh, that's wonderful, oh, darling. Oh, oh, kids, you're going to have a ball. Oh, it'll be wonderful. You see, the changing of the guard, honey, oh, and the palace, and Big Ben, Westminster Abbey. Oh, I can hardly wait. Well, when's he open? In three weeks. Well, that'll give me plenty of time to pack it all right. <laughs> three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Mm. 
They sure pull the seats out from under their sit down dinner. Daddy, Daddy, you can't do this to me. Huh? You can't do it to me either. I can't play the Palladium? Daddy, I can't go. What? Well, I've been invited out on the most important date of my whole life, and, and I just can't leave the country. I'm being initiated into the Chippewas. I went to all the trouble to learn how to say the password. Oh, will you stop being ridiculous, both of you? Hip, 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 the miniest Indian honey is off the bumble eye alone. <laughs> In a second, I'm going to hip, hip you on your zinnia's eye alone. <laughs> now, let's stop being silly about this and pay attention. It's going to be marvelous why the headliner at the Palladium gets to meet all the most important people in England. Meet aristocracy, dukes, earls, royalty. Why, we'll go duck hunting in the morning and eat them for dinner. I don't like ducks. <laughs> it's not the kind of duck you used to eat. These are wild ducks. What's the difference? Wild ducks keep flying off the plate. <laughs> Stay by the bell. <laughs> oh, Daddy, can't you see? You're, you're ruining my whole life. And you aren't doing mine any good, either. <laughs> Haven't you kids been listening? I'm not being booked into the Laramie, Wyoming Palladium. <laughs> this is the London Palladium. It's the biggest thing that could ever happen to my theatrical career. And I want you, who are near and dear to me, to share in my triumph. Can't go. How silly can you get? Tell them what I mean, will you, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Muggsy, dear, will you please tell them what I'm trying to say? I can't go either. <laughs> you what? Honey, in three weeks, I'm being installed as, as president of the PTA. Now, you know how important that is. Uh, couldn't you just postpone the Palladium Day? <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm not up yet. I'm still sleeping. I'm sure of it. I did not get out of bed this morning and hear you say, postpone a Palladium Day. It's the greatest day of my whole life. You want me to postpone it? Well, you've got to understand my position. I mean, Mrs. Johnson campaigned against me on the, on the grounds that I'd be chasing my actor husband all over the country and I wouldn't be here when they need me. Well, if I go with you, I'll just be proving that she's right. I'll be the laughing stock of the PTA. Well, who's more important to you, me or Mrs. Johnson? Well? I'm thinking. You're thinking? I didn't mean that. It's, well, how could you spring a thing like this on us all of a sudden? Why didn't you give us some warning? I thought I'd surprise you. Well, congratulations. I'm surprised. No. No, I'm surprised. And disappointed, too. Thanks a lot. Jesse and I knocked our brains out trying to get you included in this deal, but from now on, include yourselves out. I wouldn't take you if you wanted to go. I'm going alone. All right, let's take it again. Here we go, from the top. We'll tell you a story you'll never forget. A story about you and your cigarette. Enjoy smoother smoking, choose wisely, choose well. Smoke longer and finer and milder. Hell mel. Hell mel. Hell mel. Hell mel. Smoke longer and finer and milder. Hell mel. Okay, that's good. Take five. Now, when you're relaxing, don't miss the fun of smoking. Mildness is a pleasure with Pell-Mell. Enjoy a smoothness, mildness, and satisfaction no other cigarette can offer you. Smoke Pell-Mell famous cigarettes in the distinguished red package. Outstanding. And they are mild. Members of the faculty, distinguished guests, friends, and neighbors. And me. <laughs> and you. As I stand here, I'm reminded of a story that could easily be applied to the growth of our great parent-teachers association. A famous author was once given this toast at a banquet. Long live success. To which he replied, yes, it is the only thing that succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my little jokes. Oh, I'm glad you told me. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. 
It was not so very long ago that our great PTA was but a fledgling association. Critic... Size... Well, let me stop you. Criticized on all... If I could stop you. <laughs> Size. If I could stop anybody around here. What right had a parent to, us to usurp the duties of the faculty? Nobody cares anything it... about me. I'm just the father around here. <laughs> what right had the parent to usurp the duties of the faculty? Who cares about a father? <laughs> In what way could there be harmony between the two bodies? Who cares? The father is 3,000 miles away, alone in a strange country before a strange audience, yearning, dying to see a familiar face. Who cares about this kind of man? What are they worried about? But the about? common good had to prevail for yeah. the advancement of child education in yeah. the home and in the school. Everything's so advanced. Late. Everything's advanced except the love of her father. That hasn't advanced so much. <laughs> As far as you people are concerned, I should just be like a shadow or something. Just bring the money and get lost. You know something, Mommy? What? I like Daddy's speech better. You're very funny. You're all very funny. Well, let me tell you something. Skip it. He sure feels bad. Leave it to me. I'll cheer him up. Hi, Daddy. I'm no daddy to you. I'm just a money machine. You hi, Daddy, me when you want something. But when I want something from you, it's not hi, Daddy. It's bye, Daddy. Gee, it's not my fault if those Chippewas want to initiate me into their club. And besides, I went to all the, that trouble to learn how to say, hip, 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 the mini is in Oh, your cut it out. You'll be sorry. You'll be sorry when I say to the Duke of Whitley, your lordship, this is my son, Russell. And I point to you, and you're not there. If I'm not there, who will you point at? <laughs> What'd you come in here for, to heckle me? No, I just wanted to tell you I love you. And when you're gone, I'll miss you. So don't be mad, Daddy. Okay. All right, I'm not mad. Can I have a little something to remember you by when you're away? Sure. What would you like to have? Three dollars for my initiation. <laughs> Like I said, I'm just a money machine. Here. Here, here's four dollars. One for good measure. Character. <laughs> Daddy. How much do you want to remember me by? I don't want anything. I just want to... want to ask you a question. What is it? Well... What do I do if, if Jimmy Burroughs asks me to kiss him? Slap him right in the puss. <laughs> but then he'll never ask me to dance again. That's where you're wrong. If you kiss him, he'll never ask you again. Daddy? Hmm? Thanks for the advice. And I love you. I love you, too. Danny? Danny? What? <laughs> um, will you be home uh, for dinner tonight on time? Oh, so why? Why? Oh, well, I, I just thought I, I'd make some pot roast. Y you like it so much. You swell, there's not too much trouble. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Yeah. Danny? Huh? Pot roast and potato pancakes, then. <laughs> 
Yeah. And now a word from our alternate sponsor, the dependable Dodge dealer in your neighborhood. Streaking down the ice on a bobsled is adventure. Skimming the water in a hydroplane is adventure. And here's the latest in adventure, the newest of the new, as the 56 Dodge Lancer hardtop goes four-door. There is no center post to break the swift sweep of line. From the forward flare of its headlights to its soaring jet tail fins, the 56 Lancer is a wide-open invitation to adventure. No longer is the hardtop limited to the luxury lines. Now Dodge brings Lancer styling within easy reach of every pocketbook. And in addition to the four-door Lancers, the 56 Dodge again offers the two-door hardtop, also available in all three price series, including the lowest-priced Coronet. Three minutes behind the wheel will prove to you why Dodge for 56 is the value leader of the forward look. Dominia, Zinnia, Zarnia, Humble, Bumble, oh, 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 gracious, something, something or other. I thought I knew that thing by heart. How does it go again? Forget it. I'm not going to be initiated. Well, what happened, Rusty? The club broke up. The president went to the five and dime and spent the whole treasury. But personally, I don't care. You know why? No. Because now maybe Daddy will take me to London with him. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. We'll shoot ducks and, and eat aristocrats for dinner. <laughs> oh, hi, oh, everybody. Hi, Terry. Guess what? I'm going to ask Daddy to take me to London with him. Really? So am I. Well, I thought you were going to the big dance with Jimmy Burrs. Oh, uh, he and I aren't speaking with each other anymore. Yeah, but are you dancing with each other anymore? <laughs> no. He and I, uh... We're through. Washed up. Mm. What happened, Terry? I slapped him in the puss. <laughs> That's good, Terry. Now maybe the two of us can go together and we can spend a weekend with a duck. A duck? Oh, he means a duke, honey. <laughs> you shoot the ducks, and then you eat the aristocrats all you want. <laughs> Say, have you two been washed up? You know, it's almost dinner time. Not yet, but we will. All right, I'll clean oh, up. Oh, kids, I'm so glad you got home early. I want to have a little talk with you about Daddy. Uh, uh, sit down, honey. Rusty, take your feet off the furniture. Okay. Uh, look, kids, I've been thinking, and, well, I've decided that we've been pretty selfish. I mean, after all, your father's playing the London Palladium. It's a great honor. Sort of like the, the old palace. It's the top of the hill for him. He's wanted to play the Palladium ever since he first started out in the show business. And I think we ought to be there to share that great honor with him. Now, I've been willing to make a sacrifice. I've got the PTA to, to postpone my installation, and I've canceled a sit-down dinner. Now, Russ, honey, I know it's going to be difficult, but well, would, you, would you mind terribly if, if you had to postpone your initiation into the Chippewas? Gee, Mom, I don't know, not being in the Chippewas, not even having a new bike. Honey, don't worry about that. I'll see that you get a new bike. <laughs> okay, Mom, I'll go. Oh, that's my boy. And how about you, sweetheart? Oh, well, gee, Mom, I mean, it's not only the dance, but, God, I was going to get a new formal. Darling, too. you'll get a new formal. And when we get to England, I'll buy you that cashmere sweater you've always wanted. Well, okay, Mom, I'll go. <laughs> I, I have got... Two of the, the sweetest, most unselfish children in the whole world. Time, time, I can't let them get away with it. I have heard about racketeers, but these two junior confidence men can out-swindle them all. <laughs> Louise, what are you talking about? I'll tell you just what I'm talking about. Sometime later. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Hi Daddy. Honey, yeah, I've just been talking to, to the... <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, want to tell you uh, that... <laughs> go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. No, no, go right ahead. No, no, you go first. You're the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's sit down. We're not wooden Indians, you know. <laughs> sit down. Uh, look. 
Uh, I've come to the conclusion that I have been a very, very selfish man. I just, while well, asking you to leave your friends and your activities and on such short notice was, was really unforgivable. I had no right to do it. And since you can't go to London with me and since I'd be miserable without you, I told Jesse to cancel the whole thing. What? 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 <laughs> what? What? Oh, no. Oh, no, what? You can't do this. What do you mean I can't do it to you? What am I doing? I, I, I've, I've given up the most important date of my whole life. I even have a fight, and, and now I'm not going to England. I won't be able to face anybody. What? Now I've got no club to join, no bus to ride. What's going to happen to me? <laughs> You mind telling me what's going on here? Well, you were busy canceling your trip because you didn't want to go without us. We were busy throwing our plans out the window so you wouldn't have to go without us. Holy Toledo. Wait a minute. What? Maybe Jesse hasn't know? had time to cancel yet. Jesse, oh, think so. Oh, Keep your fingers crossed. Crossed. I'll cross all of them. Yeah, cross them all, honey. Hello. Hello, this is Danny Williams. I want to talk with Jesse Leeds, please. Oh. What? Well, well, where is he? Well, maybe you can help me. It, did he cancel my engagement at the London Palladium? Thanks. He canceled. How do you like that man? You sent him out for four slices. Takes him two hours. But the London Palladium, he could cancel in three minutes. <laughs> oh, you big idiot. Why did you cancel the Palladium? What? You told me to. I told you to. Sure, I told you to. How long have you been with me? You ought to know better than to do anything I tell you to the ask me if I mean it. But oh, I... Yeah, how would you like it if you changed all your plans so you could go to London and, and then somebody canceled the whole trip? How'd you like that? Well, but I... Yeah, I, and how do you think I feel after telling all my friends I'm, I'm going to England? Yeah. What did I do? What did I do? Uncle Jesse, you goofed. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. What do you all want from me? You told me to cancel the date, right? All right, I cancel it. Do you think I enjoy canceling the London Palladium, a thing you've been waiting for all your life? And you think I like my clients to get sued? Who cares if your clients get sued? Who cares? You better care, buddy. You're in big T-R-U-B-L. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jesse Leeds, Esquire, Danny Williams plays Palladium engagement as per contract or we sue, end quote. <laughs> They're gonna sue us if we don't go to England? That's right. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed being with us. And just one thing before you go. Tonight's show is brought to you by Pell-Mell Famous Cigarettes. The finest quality money can buy. Product of the American Tobacco Company. America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. See you next week for the dependable Dodge dealer in your neighborhood. Good night. <laughs>